I mentioned earlier that I preferred a different form of logic than the classic Western one for the simpler reason that I believe that the first three laws of classical logic or classical laws of logic or whatever you want to call them are absolutist. And, you know, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. You have to have some sort of bedrock on which to base any philosophy. So you have to assume certain things. Um, but I contend that Western logic then or at least the way that it's practiced, then takes those three main axioms, the three classical laws, um, that's uh, identity, non-contradiction, and um, the excluded middle, those three. It takes those three and treats them as absolute facts. And I say that Eastern logic, or Indian logic, or Jain logic, if you want to call it that, does not do that. It, I believe that it relies on the same axioms as anything else, any other system, but I think that the general thrust of Eastern logic is to always remind yourself of the fact that your axioms are still there as axioms, instead of the Western tendency to just forget that question is, is that a fair thing to say about Western logic? That it blurts out these three laws and then encourages you to forget that these laws are just assumed.